Hey guys, welcome back. It's Katarina. Hope you're all having a great day so far. Today's video is going to be my June favorites, so let's get started. I actually have not done a monthly favorites in quite a few months, um, and I know I actually haven't had a video up in a little while as well. Things have just been so crazy in my personal life. Good stress, bad stress, all of the above. Um, if you guys want like a life update video, we can definitely do that. But for this, I don't want to make this overly long because these videos are already so long for me to do um, because I just talk, 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 talk. But yeah, I just today wanted to share with you guys the products that I've been loving now that we're kind of in the summer season. I just like my go-to summer products. So, let's get started. I'm going to start with the foundation that I have been using non-stop. And I don't know why, because it's more of like a full coverage foundation. But I think it's because it's kind of like a clay foundation. It's pretty waterproof as well. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. Mine is in the shade Medium Sand. It is pretty similar to my skin tone right now. And I've talked about this foundation many, many times, but I I just use a really light layer of it because it is such a full coverage foundation. And here you can kind of see it swatched. It's almost too light for me. If I get any tanner, I'll have to go down a shade. Um, but this foundation is just so great. It's what I have on my skin right now. And like I said, a really light layer of this is so perfect for the summertime because it really controls all your oils. It gives you a nice, even finish to the skin. And it just lasts all day long as well. Love it. I don't even have that many favorites. I've literally been doing kind of like the same look every single day, and it's something very similar to this right here. I've really been loving warm tones right now. Um, I don't know what it is, like just the warm tones on the eyes, a little bit of shimmer, a lot of bit of highlight, and kind of like a nudish lip. I'm just loving it right now. So the two lip products that I've been just loving lately are the LA Girl. These are the Pro Glazed Lip Paints, I believe they're called. Um, and I have one in the shade Whisper and one in the shade... Uh, Elude, and I have both of them on my lips today. Whisper is more of like a true nude, whereas Elude is more of like a peachy, peachy pinky nude. So here you can see them swatch. This one right down here is um, Whisper. This one up here is Elude. Love them so much. It's what I have mixed on my lips today. It gives just a really kind of nice. Um, even soft nude to the lips and I've just been really liking it lately. I feel like it adds any enhancement to a tan. So kind of sticking along with like I said all the warm tones, the blush that I've been using, go figure, it's a City Color Be Matte blush. I love these blushes so much. This one though is in the shade Sunset Safari and when I had first got this I did not think that this was a shade that I was really going to use and definitely not a shade that I was going to use in the summertime. It is however what I have on my cheeks today and although it looks like a really deep kind of like burnt rusty red kind of color. When you put it on your skin, it just adds such a beautiful warmth flush of color. It looks so great in the summer tan, so great with a tan. Summer tan, did I just say? Oh gosh. Um, it looks so great in the summertime, so good with a tan. And for comparison, I will go ahead and take, let's see, this one is Sweet Pea. And I, this one right here is Sweet Pea. I use this a lot. It's like a perfect neutral color. So just kind of like a comparison so you guys can see the difference. Sunset Safari, Safari is definitely a few shades deeper. And um, I just can't say enough good things about these blushes. You guys are probably so sick of me talking about them. But it's literally just what I use all the time. So had to throw that in there as well. Kind of a newer-ish product that I haven't talked about a ton, but I have been loving, and you guys can see that. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. And this is in the shade Caramel Toffee. I do have the other shade as well. Um, I don't use it quite as much. This one is Dulce de Leche, which has more of like a cool tone bronzer contour area and then kind of like a vanilla highlight, whereas the one that I have been loving um, has more of like a yellow tone banana shade for your highlight and then a warm tone bronzer. Like you guys can see here, this highlight shade I have hit pan on. I am obsessed with this and I use this actually to bake under my eyes. It is so strange. I think I showed it in a video, but I just take a sponge, um, a damp sponge, and I put that in there because this is such a fluffy, kind of like velvety powder. I put that in there and I just pat it under my eyes like you would baking with loose powder and then let it sit for a couple of minutes wipe it away, and that's what I have on my under eyes right now. It's so good. I'm obsessed with this. The shade is perfect. I honestly like this more than going into my Anastasia kit. It's so good. Moving on to something that is also kind of new as well, and I actually tried to film a review um, and demo on this last week, and the footage just came out horrible. It was so blurry. My camera was auto-focusing. The colors was picking up way too light from the window. It was a hot mess. It looked good in the viewfinder, or when I look in the mirror and can see back, but on the computer, oh gosh, girl. 
so I'm going to just refilm it. Um, this is the Bonita Cosmetics Flawless Contour Kit. I picked this up at Rite Aid or Walgreens. I believe it was Rite Aid for $7.99, you guys. How crazy is that? And it is a contour palette. So inside you get six beautiful shades. Um, you get all matte shades in here. You get three contour bronzer shades, three highlighting shades. And it looks very similar to the Anastasia one you guys know I love. Here is the Anastasia one over here, which I hit pan on quite a few shades, like you can see, and then this one is the Bonita Cosmetics. Um, I have been honestly reaching for this one, though, more than my Anastasia one, and I think it's because these are more velvety feeling, they're more pigmented, they blend better, and I just like the shades more in here. You get a beautiful kind of peachy shade. I'll do a up-close um, shot of this because you can't really see right now, but you get a beautiful peachy shade, a uh, banana shade, and then a vanilla shade. And then you get like a deep chocolate brown bronzer, a warm tone bronzer, and then more of like a cool tone bronzer. It's such a perfect palette. Like I said, I do want to refilm that video that I did dedicated to this palette because it's so good. I did want to mention a brush. This is the Beauty Junkies Pro Highlighter Brush. I have been wanting a brush like this, like that tapered um, point for highlighting for so long, and it really, really makes a difference. I don't know what it is about this brush, but this is the only brush that I've been using lately to highlight. You can still get right on the tip of your nose, because I like to highlight there. You can get your cupid's bow, you can get your brow bone. It's just a really easy brush to use, and I feel like it picks up more product but distributes it distributes it really evenly as well and Beauty Junkie brushes are super affordable as well. I actually recently accumulated a ton of their brushes and sponges um, so let me know if you guys want kind of reviews on all of their sets. I could definitely do that because you guys know that I really like Morphe brushes. You guys know I really like the RC Cosmetic brushes but I've got to be honest with you guys I have been reaching for my Beauty Junkies every single day and like you can see here this is just like one of my tubs. I have very quickly accumulated a ton of their brushes so again let me know if you want me to do kind of dedicated videos on all of the sets because they're so affordable and really awesome quality last couple of things speaking about morphe their palettes are so good and this is the 35w palette it is my favorite palette right now of theirs um, just because all of these shades scream my, scream my name I love warm tones I do still want to get the 350 palette um, that is definitely still on my list but these shades are just gorgeous you even have some purples in here some gold some beautiful warm shades tan bronze black. You have, this is the palette that I have on my eyes today. It's pretty much the only palette that I've been using non-stop lately. I literally just go in with um, these shades up here to, or kind of all these shades up here to do my transition area, kind of like building up a crease uh, shade. And then I go into this beautiful rich, this is my favorite shade in the whole palette, beautiful rich deep chocolate red brown kind of. It is so stunning. I love going in with um, this gold champagne shade right here. These shadows are just so pigmented, so smooth, not too much fallout, really, really, really good quality. And like you can see, that's the highlight shade that I've been using all over my lid right now. It's just such amazing palettes. I highly recommend them if you haven't tried them, um, especially because it's just kind of like an all-in-one palette too. I did also want to talk about the City Color Timeless Beauty Face Palette. Oh gosh, girlfriend, this is so good. If you want that strong, highlighted face, that beautiful sun-kissed glow, you need this in your life. It's so good. You get this beautiful kind of goldish, goldish champagne highlight. This is so pigmented. It is what I have on my cheeks right now. Um, let me swatch it here. I was thinking about even doing a full... Um, video just on this palette right here because it's just so good and I've talked about it multiple times but then you also get this gorgeous uh, kind of like taupey brown this is perfect for a bronzer topper if you really want to get that glow you get a beautiful kind of warm toned um, bronzerish blush and then a more goldeny tone these are so stunning so pigmented so buttery smooth and you can use these on your eyes too I have definitely used them on my eyes um, I just cannot say enough good things about them Hopefully I can show you some swatches of them. They're just so pigmented and oh, just gorge. But yeah, I think that is everything I want to share with you guys, all the products that I've been loving the past couple of months, especially this month in June. Let me know, as always, down below what you guys have been loving this month. I am so sorry for the lack of videos, you guys. I'm really trying to get back on my game, but anyways, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're having an amazing start to your summer. It is getting so beautiful here in Washington. It's in the 80s now, which is gorgeous. We are less than a year till my wedding, and yeah. Okay, enough about me being cheesy. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you guys leave so you can see up to date with all of my videos, and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye. Right here on the sides of the nose, 
This is going to help create a slimmer looking nose and a straighter looking nose. Also, I have a very long Italian nose, so I like